Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies with the cultist playthrough. Today's beverage is a very nice peach and lemon tea. Very refreshing indeed. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode, we had taken over Korak and also Ul Konak on the right hand side. That's the last remaining faction on this um on this area let's go for a port here to increase our money and yeah we did that managed to overall you know get where we needed to go and hmm research lots of research specifically some high level suspendium stuff to make the death drop and we're going to try it out in this episode so we've got again optional research here i want to go for to be honest, I could go for reinforced hulls. Ah, it's only going to take two months. Let's just do that. Because you never know <laughs> when the research treaty will be ended because of how we're acting. Speaking about acting, Codbra is acting very aggressively towards High Ford. They're a similar strength evil conqueror. And they're still a oh, they're actually at war with one baton here. But they're a truce with everybody else. So that's of note. We'll have to see how we get on here. I'm just going to build a supply network. And uh, supply network reduced, sadly. I want to keep building supply network. Uh, build. Send the spies and keep building on the supply networks and steel technology. But I don't know if we can steal technology over here. We'll try. We'll view that. Build a supply network. Steel research. Nah, it's not going to work out. Alright. How are we doing for building stuff? We're doing alright. Let's go for build a ship gonna go for i keep scrolling down to the sp stuff but we're not doing that we're doing the death drop the undertakers mm, i think we're gonna build do you want to build another undertaker i think so and we may even need another supply ship i wonder what it would take to go there oh there's the armor we're gonna go for Cartography, 40% flight speed. So if we were to go there, I don't know how much it would take. But we've got good supplies because of that supply ship. I think we'll be alright. What we're best off doing is... It'd be nice if there was a monster nest around here. Alright. What I'll have to do is deselect all. And then select just the ships that will be coming with us. Just the vessels, should I say. Those ones. And we can get there and back. Easily enough. Okay. Do you want to attack the aerial jelly? I don't know. Certainly don't want to attack the titan blade weed. The tanks. I'll tell you what. Deselect all. Select all the tanks. Because these ain't coming with us. They can't. They're actually going to go back to Cubis here. Only enough to get there. And... Build another ship. I think we'll go for a death drop. Look at the money we've got coming in. A oh, good grief. Should build some more. Build ship. The thing is, we haven't even got just a, a gunboat, a straight-up gunboat, have we? <laughs> we could build things like one of these. I know it's the HMS. i build another death drop. See how we get on with it. Diplomatic delegation. <clears throat> grievances. No, take all the grievances you want. Death drops been built there. Another death drop built there. So how many have we got? We got... We'll have four death drops and two undertakers. And I need to want to build some more. Definitely want some sort of just gunboat. And I'm tempted to alter this. This is the abscess. Let's refit it. We've got. It does have cultist quarters on. Oh. Okay. Do we have a repair bay? Yes, we do. And a sick bay. Well, I know I'm appropriating this vessel. Say the design. But it's it's fine. 
So I can say refit, but there's nothing to refit. It's just literally change the name plates. <laughs> um, do that. There you go. And just change the name plate. <laughs> so we should now have. Uh, if we check this thing, yeah. Oh no, it's still the abscess. Um, rename. Hang on. See you. Welcome. You're part of the fleet. But we can build those now. Oh, there's uh, cartography. Spy defense. No. Do your work thing. We're going to try and summon Krakens. Why not? Build ship. And we'll have the abscess. There's all the vessels over there. All of our mini tanks, which we can't bring with us. And I think we're going to go war against this guy. Oh, hang on. Where's he sending that? Oh, is this guy at war as well? They're at war with him. Interesting. That should make our job very easy, shouldn't it? <laughs> um, Alright, okay. Let's just select this fleet. Select nothing, and then select that. Go there. Enough to get there. That's all I need. This is now built. The abscess is getting built. Just going to go through, and we've got a small shipyard there. Field station. Build a small market there. As you know, empires are no longer adjacent. Your trade is one button to become invalid. Hmm. How are we not next to one another? I mean, we never were anywhere. Oh, look at this. They're attacking up there as well. That's one of their vessels there. Build a supply network. Ah, it's been reduced again. Shame. Is he still at war? With, yeah, that guy. Alright. Just go through anything that we can build in terms of increasing our cash. University is good. That's for clearing monster nests. Garrison. That's fine. We've got a port. We'll build a market there. We'll build a... I mean, we could build a spy agency. Spy networks go up 25% faster. Why not? Um, getting on with this guy. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't think they're going to be about much longer, so... We'll be a bit exploitative on that one. There's more markets there being built. And another spy agency. So, this guy... No, hang on. Who is this? View. Oh, Codbra. Wants cancel research treat. Cancel trade treaty and gain a research treaty. Mm. Reject. I like that trade treaty we've got going, mate. <laughs> Money's quite good. I'm worried, though. Oh, they're weak. How are they weak? They've got loads of... Uh, loads of stuff going on. Oh, they are, they are with a defensive pact against this guy, though. Defensive treaty. So I'll bring him into the war. Don't think I'm too concerned. One, two, three, four death drops. A couple of undertakers and some abscesses. Let's... They get grievances and my reputation go down. So, I mean, do I just attack this one then? Who have they got their diplomacy with? Oh, they've got a defensive pack with everybody. Okay. That's not going to work out for me either. I genuinely don't know what the course of action is now because it's 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 the new airships. You don't you can't just sledge them all. Huh. This guy's taking more stuff. Let's uh see about this. They're at peace with all of these, but war against him. Oh no. They've got a defensive pact. They're not at war with anybody. There's the awakening. Can summon the Kraken Revenant. Let's go for heavy cannon and bombards. Why not? We've got that stuff there. So he's taken some more stuff and split up Codbra. Alright.
if I was to declare why I would lose a lot of rep. And it would be a while against this guy as well. The other option. He's got a defense pack there as well. They're much weaker though. And we've got a non-aggression pact. Make offer. Actually no. <clears throat> Make ultimatum. It would be cancel on aggression or war. But that's going to cancel the trade and research treaty. What about Godbra? Again, defensive pack. Okay, we're going to get attacked regardless, aren't we? Is what I'm hearing. Regardless of what we do here. It's a case of maybe not overextending then. What's he got parked here? A couple of ships, a walker and loads of defences. Do I have enough to deal with that? If I do, we've just taken this whole area. But then this guy's going to bring his ships down. Oh, let's do it. We're doing it. Declare war. So we've declared war. We are at war now with all of this. I'm hoping I can just take out one button and take a couple of these areas. Maybe even a bit down here. And that'll then allow us to probably do a ceasefire. We'll probably end up with a ceasefire. But this guy's also at war with... That's ah, just me. Yeah, there's a lot of fleets moving around. It's going to kick off again on this main area. So, this is our big fight. Big, big fight. So, we'll have the... Automatic resolution is defeat. Yeah, I don't accept that one. Um, what I'm going to do is bring in our... Bring in our boarding vessels and we're going to board this one and this one our bombers i'm going to immediately start and then move them up the these ones here i'm going to just sort of hang around and shoot let's see how we get on this could be an absolute <laughs> absolute destruction of our forces or it might go well and the fun will be in finding out it might not even be that fun to be honest but i've ordered the movement of these things and also the Increasing their service ceiling to go up and out of the way. It says they've currently not got any sort of... Oh, this, that's, that's what they're firing against. I was going to say, what are they firing against? But they've obviously got walkers down there. Let's just move here. We'll say boarding on that one. Boarding on that one. And there's the boarding for their defensive structures. Lots of explosions as our bombers are doing, well, just that. They have a walker that's... To be honest, it seems to be running away. Uh, and lots of bombs there. Lots of bombs. I'm going to split up our forces. Half of the bombers are going to go to the right-hand side. Uh, we've already captured two of these things, which is good. Uh, the other bombers, I will keep manoeuvring around to try and take out this thing. These are probably going to be best moving back over there. Just so we can keep firing. Um, there's the bombers. Bombs away. And that's good damage. That is very good damage. We're going to keep moving back over it's going to be a bit of a stop-start fight, this entire thing. Um, I'm going to tell this one to target that, actually, and see if we can. Because we've got four-second commands... Oh, that's not that's not good. I told this to move back over. That's not good. That's not good. These ones, I'm just going to move out with a fight, like so. I'm just going to pause it while we go to the far left, and we can see that these are still doing whatever they need to do. These ones we need to bring further forward. Obviously, it's no target available for some of these. Um, ammo is good. Water's fine. Coal is also good. Remember, we're not using coal for any purpose other than moving this around. We are just using standard suspendium chambers. And speaking of suspendium chambers, I can see inside of their suspendium chamber over there. And, well, it hasn't worked out for them at all. Let's just go to the right-hand side. Bombers are still doing what they should be doing. This guy, we're going to move along. Um, this other bomber, I think we can also bring into play now as well. These guys, I'm going to, I'm going to run them away. Um, frankly, I'm just going to ground them. Actually, no, we should probably just probably bring them back over as best we can. Just get them away from the fights. 
this bomber is... Oh, that's not good. This is about to fall on top of me. This thing. So immediately, um, move, 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 because that's about to fall on top. <laughs> that is literally a floating spike at this point that was coming down near this thing. That would not work out at all for us. Bomber can come down to there. These guys, I mean, we'll move further forward. These ones, as I said, I just want to move these boarding things out of the way. Bomber's doing great work. Oh, the suspended chamber's gone on that one. Too much fire, I think. And I think we've won. The day is ours. Wow. Okay. We've destroyed. Watchful turret, shining tower, diamond, wakeful. We've gained the watchful turret and a shining tower. That's great. That's captured and destroyed for a bit. And lots of surrendered. So. Brutal takeover. They're running away. But they're coming. Oh, they were coming back to try and... Stop us. Okay, fine. In Cultington, I'm building a spy agency. In here, I'm going to build... I'm building reactionary vessels, so I'm building the Undertakers. So stuff that if they try to attack us, which they probably will do, we can quickly... Uh, no, move and attack. There's Heavy Cannon and Bombards now built. Clockwork Hazars, which are really cool. I'm very tempted to get a melee vessel, though, with the mechanical tentacles. <laughs> Experimental laboratory seems as as well. And also, well, the final ritual, but we don't really need that anymore. Grenade, um, command centers, aircraft command decks, spy defense, surveillance state. We're going to go for, sub for that one. Um, over here, we will repair... It's actually not much to repair. And them death drops seem to be pretty good. Let's attack Bonta. I don't know what's here, and I don't particularly care. Because they're already reeling. They have an incoming fleet, though. It's going to take seven months to get here. So, oh, good grief, really. Is this, uh, is this it? Is this what we're facing? So, we've got this thing, which is pretty much dead. And... Yeah, this is this is not going to last very long. Start the fight immediately. Move this over to here because I want to capture it. This one, I will tell them to board there. I have a feeling that that's going to back up. Or if, oh, okay, that's even better. It's... Oh, darn it. Missed drop. <laughs> so what's happened is the guys had jumped out. Um, but they hadn't... Oh, they hadn't anticipated where the direction it was going. Um, brutal takeover once again. And where's it going now? It's going over here, is it? Well, I'm just going to attack it first and get there first. Let's just see where they're attacking from. Uh, they are coming to... From here. They're attacking... Oh, that, are they? Well, I've got an undertaker getting built there. Build ship here. Build ship. I'm going to build... Uh, what's the speed, actually? Death drop is speed of 83. The undertaker is at 217. The abscess is 77. So yeah, Undertaker is definitely the reactionary ship, which we knew anyway. I'm taking this. I wonder where they go after that. Hmm. I guess I'll find out, won't I? Uh, one button would accept a truce. I'm sure they would. Um, I'm not particularly interested in one just yet. I really would like to take this, and then we'll do a truce. Combat over here. They have literally one defensive building. Start the fight. Yep, yeah, the day's ours. They're just going to give up. Should have done that. I should have checked out my resolution, but quite frankly, I just like watching ships fly around. And that's been surrendered. Uh, it's going to be a brutal takeover again. And, well, I'll just keep going. Just There's no reason at this stage to stop. They do have some more fleets, though. Um, oh, so that has to go there, does it? Sorry. All right, it's, it has to come back here. Fair enough. Well, I might as well sit around. We will go for a garrison over there. One button will get a police station. And this is not yet taken. And I'm just going to double check to see from their point of view. Uh, it just does what we're at the war with. Okay, fair enough. They're not at war 
They're not at war, but do have defensive pacts, and they have peace. Sorry, a truce, not a peace. Peace there, yeah, it's... Hmm, interesting. So this is the last remaining forces coming here. And we'll see how we get on with that. There should be an undertaker now built. Oh no, it's almost built at Coltington. That's there just for reaction. You understand? And we'll have to limp over there. Or maybe we'll build, tell you what, we'll build a supply ship. Send a supply ship over. Titan Bladeweed. <clears throat> Where is that? Well, there's one there. And there's one... I don't know. One there. Has one appeared elsewhere? Can't really say. Okay, um, <laughs> again, this is going to be an interesting fight. Pull these back. Start the fight. Move the bombers up and forward. Tell the boarders to board that. Tell the boarders to board that. And, yep, as to be expected. Oh, that's a big misdrop. Loads of people misdrop there. Which point out, all borders are the very basic borders. There's nothing special about them. Please don't ram it to the back, and we'll board that as well. We'll be scrapping all of this, by the way. And that's captured. Didn't expect anything else. That's acceptable. So from this fleet, then, what do we need? Well, frankly... Yeah, I have to discard it. I have to discard it. Has it got no supply at all? Supply requested... Yeah, it's got nothing. That's running away. Back home. So you can scrap it. I'm just going to discard it. We can only discard it because we're not at a port. Actually, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, small shipyard. Let's go. Do it that way. Over here, select nothing, just going to pause it, go down to that, bring enough to get there, and I don't think I want to build more on the left there, I should have enough defensive, got an undertaker, and if we go to defences we have, hmm, probably should have repaired those earlier, defences, repair, too busy attacking stuff. There's a supply ship. It's going to take a while to build the supplies up, but we'll get there. I could get there now, but couldn't get back. So what's the point? Whatever they've got there, it's slow. <laughs> it's very slow. Um, heavy turrets. There's a factory. Gatling guns and skyboats. Let's go with machining, which is either, Ah, either autarky or free trade. Well, we're not going to have many trades, so I guess we'll go with that one. Over here, the small shipyard is still being built. It's going to take some time. We've got defences. Repair. That's done. Over here. Uh, defences. We will repair that one. I'm going to check these defences. I think most of them should be alright. This one won't be. Oh, no, it is because I think they just give up on it. Yeah, that's all okay. Right, good. Uh, we could intercept this, but I'd rather hang around with all these defences that I've got. I mean, I don't know what this fleet contains. Whatever it contains, it's slow. This one's even slower. Oh, it'll be out of, um, it'll be out of resources, so it's just limping, essentially. Supplies are... almost there. What do I need to limp home? 137. Shipyard's half built. Let's max speed it out. It's going to cost 6,000, by the way, for a... It's going to cost 6,000 for a Kraken. <clears throat> I would like a Kraken Revenant, 6,000. But obviously, price. I'm going to go for a large shipyard, I think. Over here, this is our main base of operations now. And this is... Korak. Mm, fight manually. So I know what they've got now. And now I can counter attack. And they're getting stuck. So this is not attacking the main thing. Which I've said a couple of times. But it's actually one of the sort of satellite bases. 
which we can now counterattack because we know how slow they are and what they're armed with. And they're armed pretty much with nothing. They're probably doing better if they weren't crashing into this thing. Uh, <laughs> so they're going to win this one. Without a shadow of a doubt. But I can easily counterattack and get that taken over. So there's a defeat. I'm going to pause it and attack. There's extra machining, uh, autarky. There's our counter attack. Start the fight immediately. Tell them to board that one and board that one. And then, oh, we're immediately on fire as well. Put ram to there, ram to there. There's the boarding though. Let's move down and move down to there. And that's a capture. We now have a new ship. <clears throat> free ship. Never turn away a free ship. So we've taken that back. We'll head home. Gentle takeover. Why not? Might as well do a gentle takeover with that one. There's our ship that's almost... I uh, brought the supply ship here. I'm going to build another one. And... We're back. So I'm going to scrap that. I have no interest in it. We'll repair that and repair that. And that was good. And we can head back to one button. And they're going to there, are they? Interesting. Okay. Hyper strumming. Gonna take a month. And the only the only defence I have is that. I don't know what they've got. But because of the the lack of Well, we can't really rearm. Bit of a problem. Is this at war with anyone? No, it's not. Floor cheese. <laughs> Floor cheese. Brilliant. Let's scrap that. Yes. And we'll rearm. Don't know what they've got here, but we'll see. It's going to take 60, uh, 56 supplies to get there. Oh, they've got two vessels. They're pretty cool vessels as well. And they're going to defeat us. There's no, no doubt about that. But they're going to be bleeding ships. Very much bleeding ships. It's been a bleeding. These guys are bleeding. They're actually armed. They're similarly armed. This guy's got one, two, three rifles. We've got, we've got six. <laughs> so we're sort of... Oh, yeah. We're sort of, like, similarly armed. And even for this very small outpost, we have caused considerable damage. I mean, that ship is... It's got no way to move anymore, and it's burning from stem to stem. It says... It says survived. I don't agree. I mean, technically it might have done, but... <laughs> I guarantee there's not much left. So the question is... Do I just take a death drop over there? Yeah, go on. Well, I think one death drop will be able to deal with that. Surely they'll be able to deal with that. This is a test of the death drop. Oh, they've got rifles, though, so they might not be able to deal with it. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Test of the death drop. We're able to keep pace with them, that's for sure. We're not really leading them, though. And this thing is fully repaired, which is curious. A couple of good hits, though, and this these things are going to go down. And we are, speaking of down, going to come down. Increase our accuracy. Commands every four seconds is actually very helpful. There's the bombs. A couple of good hits, and this thing's just going to fall out the sky. Similarly, if our pressurised suspendium tanks go, <laughs> that's going to happen as well. Oh, I can see their suspendium chamber. That's big bangs. Close, close, very close. Couple of good hits, incendiary explosions, suspendium chamber's gone. Don't really care about that one now, it's on fire. Oh, this death drop is really good. Really good. Yeah, I do like that death drop. And I'm not convinced. They've got much of a fight left in them. 
So I didn't need the entire fleet. I guess I should just move forward a little bit so I get, you know, more guns in range or more weapons in range. Oh no, because they're not classing some of these as targets. The middle one is not a target anymore. Oh, we have a, an explosion though. We've lost one of the bomb bays. And what's left? What is left is just this stuff at the back. I think so. Yeah, it's technically still there. No longer. <laughs> All right. They've destroyed two of those, yeah. And this Radiant Fortress has surrendered. Brutal takeover. I want to get that done. Let's head back to there. And is he at war? He is at war with Highford over there. And Sudin as well. That's curious. Right. So I'm going to repair that death drop. Uh, it's only one bomb bay, but that was good. And we're going to leave it there for now. It's been a bit of airships. We... I think I'm most likely going to attack again down here. Specifically, I want to take over Gug, and then Amienis, and then I might just say, yep, that's acceptable, because then we have a port we can go from there all the way around there. Not ideal, but at least we can do it, which gives us a nice inroad into here. 2,000 generic units of currency, 4,000 remaining until we can summon the big Kraken thing. We have got uh, still only two of the required ritual sites, so I think I probably will go for Chiskel here. All right, that's probably a plan. Aerial Jelly we can attack as well, probably best off doing so. That'll get some money as well as reduce the income negative. Maybe you can go for the blade weed. <clears throat> we shall see. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of A Bit of Airships Conquer the Skies, playing the cultist faction from Cultington. Interesting. Let's see what happens in the next one. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.